Oh goody, more robots. Let's learn more about this new robot named Figure 2 and consider what needs to be done to make this a useful, capable, non-murdering, mass-produced humanoid robot. After all, they're coming in one form or another. Check it out. Anyone else getting some serious deja vu? We'll get to the similarities with Tesla's Optimus bot later, but for now, let's have a little dive into Brett Adcock then, who is the founder of Figure Robot and is also the founder of Cover Z, T H Z, whatever that is. Um, Cover is an AI security company developing concealed weapon detection systems. Our mission is to prevent school shootings. Well, that seems like a flipping good idea, doesn't it? Introducing Figure 2, the world's most advanced AI hardware. Figure 2 was a ground-up redesign to achieve six cameras, 50% plus battery, onboard VLM, which is vision language model, three times CPU, GPU, fourth generation hands, integrated wiring, exoskeleton structure, speech-to-speech -speech reasoning, technical right up below. Figure 2 is capable of speech-to-speech -speech conversations with humans. Onboard mics and speakers connected to custom AI models trained in partnership with OpenAI. The default user interface to our robot will be speech. So you'll just be able to talk to it. Can I have something to eat? The OpenAI model will spit out an answer. Sure thing. Here's an apple. Here's the first thing I'd ask. Are you going to murder me? Quick look through the OpenAI model. Probably not, but maybe in the future. Lovely. Figure 2 has an onboard vision language model. This enables semantic grounding and fast common sense visual reasoning from robot cameras. I'm punching above my weight in that sentence. Let's see if we can break that down. The word semantic means relating to meaning in language or logic. An example of this is the word run, which can have different meanings in context. A person can run, a refrigerator can run, and a paint can run. The vision language model will see and understand the task at hand and use common sense visual reasoning using its cameras to carry out the correct task. Easy enough, eh? Onboard battery, custom in-house designed 2.25 kilowatt hour battery pack in the robot torso. Upgraded battery delivers 50% more energy than figure one to maximize robot runtime. We hope figure two will be able to achieve upwards of 20 hours of useful work per day. Integrated wiring. This might sound easy, but wiring is tough. Integrated cabling and power and compute allows for higher reliability, concealed wires, tighter packaging. Tighter packaging. <laughs> In addition to better wiring, we design custom wire terminals and connectors to increase robot reliability. Cameras. Figure 2 perceives and understands the physical world through its AI-driven vision system. There are six onboard RGB cameras located in the head, front torso and back torso. Robot has superhuman vision. Yeah, my mum used to say she had eyes in the back of her head. So's this robot. It's a bit creepy though, isn't it? Just a blooming cyclops staring at you. Well, I'm friendly. 
exoskeleton structure. In order to provide structural stiffness and protect against crash loads, Figure 2 was designed as an exoskeleton structure, similar to an aircraft where the outer skins bear the load. This was quite a radical design shift from Figure 1. Fourth generation hands. The latest human scale hands are equipped with 16 degrees of freedom and human equivalent strength, which enables a wide range of human like tasks. The entire hand was designed in-house, mechanical, electrical, controls and sensors. Hands are one of the most complicated, critical elements of humanoid robots. Just consider the range of movement for both your hands, your fingers, wrists, forearms. In fact, Elon discussed this fascinating fact in a recent Lex Friedman interview. Link in the description below for the full eight and a half hour podcast, but it's just the first one and a half hours with Elon. Your hands, the actuators, the muscles of your hand are almost overwhelmingly in your forearm. Mm -hmm. So your forearm has the has the muscles that that actually control your hand. Um, there's there's a there's a few small muscles in the hand itself, but your hand is really um, like a skeleton meat puppet, <laughs> and, the, and and with cables that so the the muscles that control your fingers are in your forearm, and they go through your, the carpal tunnel, which is that you've got a little collection of bones and, and a tiny tunnel that these cables the tendons go through, and those tendons are what um, mostly what moves your hands. By, by hand, I mean like the, the, the entire forearm from elbow forward. Mm -hmm. Incredibly difficult engineering, actually. Replicating a human hand with all the dexterity we enjoy is no easy feat. The more degrees of freedom these robot hands can achieve, the closer we'll get to the ultimate test of dexterity. It's guitar, what do you think I was doing? Filthy. Onboard CPU and GPU. Figure two has three times the computation and AI inference available on board compared to figure one. This enables real-world AI tasks to be performed fully autonomously. Our AI data engine will provide latest AI models that will run on robot GPU. The latest neural network will be used by the robot fleet, terabytes of data per day collected, goes back into the training data, a flywheel of improvements for the future. Follow our journey as we ship humanoid robots. We're scaling up talent across many domains including AI, manufacturing, software, electrical, integration and test. Apply here. Brett Adcock ends with the exciting thing is figure two paves a path for humanoid robots in the workforce and the home. There's a lot to discuss here. The obvious similarities to Tesla's humanoid robot Optimus being the first. But you know, that's just fine. I've been saying for years now to the automotive industry, just copy Tesla. It's beyond obvious that they are at the forefront of electric car technology manufacturing profitable cars at scale. It should be the only logical conclusion. So let's expand that same principle to anyone willing to copy Optimus. OK, Optimus is further advanced with more degrees of freedom in its hand and no doubt improving at a scale quicker than anyone realises, just like Tesla cars. But there's nothing wrong with healthy competition. BYD and other electric car manufacturers are doing what's necessary to not only copy Tesla, but to scale up to provide cheaper, higher quality, profitable and more capable electric cars than those legacy auto companies that should have just copied Tesla from the beginning. But ultimately stubbornness, rigidity and lack of leadership put a stop to that, which will bite them on the bottom big style. Figure 2 here is a result of copying Tesla of course, but that might just pay off. And like the car industry, the humanoid robot industry needs more than one giant player, especially when considering Elon Musk and others' predictions of global population ratio of humanoid robots becoming greater than one to one. Yes, that's a lot of robots, isn't it? But here's the biggest challenge for any robot company planning to sell these to a workforce and homes. What do you think it takes to get to mass production of humanoid robots like that? It's the same as cars, really. Oh, is that all? It's just like becoming a successful car manufacturer. Tell that to the thousands of vehicle startups that never made it. For some reason this saying comes to mind, prototypes are easy, production is hard, and reaching profitability is excruciating. I mean, crikey, hats off to any company trying to compete in the humanoid robot arena and pushing the boundaries of what's possible thanks to the emergence of AI with vision language models and the conversion of technology that allows incredible prototypes like this to be built. But there's no easy road to success here. Manufacturing at scale is no joke. Nor is the responsibility of building millions of robots with the crushing capabilities of a Terminator. One of my biggest concerns is running these machines using OpenAI, which ChatGPT is built on, which some folks have spotted is a bit wokeified. It's closed sourced. It's a for-profit company with all the integrity of a beady red eye. 
Trust it, I do not, let alone want it wandering around my home contemplating its own existence whilst being fed rewrites of history to course correct for any mistakes we might have made as a species. I'd far sooner it be open sourced and have a truthful and transparent robot brain, thank you very much. Anyway, good luck with figure two and hope you make billions of them and they don't take over the world and kill us all. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Will these robots ever reach manufacturing at scale? Does it terrify you to imagine them wandering around the place ready to have their minds hijacked by nefarious forces? Or will the next 100 years be just lovely? Check this video out next. I'm Will, this is the Tesla Jigsaw. Thank you, Patreons. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.